Here in Alabama, it was a party line vote on health care. All six Republicans voted in favor of it. Congressman Mo Brooks wasn't a supporter of the bill the first time around, but recently changed to a supporter. The state's lone Democrat, Terry Sewell, voted no. We're hearing reaction tonight from lawmakers on both sides of the aisle. Congresswoman Terry Sewell saying she voted no because it will drive health care prices up for working families, all while lowering the quality of coverage they receive. And Congressman Palmer said today was a major step forward and that this is not the end of their efforts to dismantle Obamacare. Congressman Robert Adderholt said the Affordable Health Care Act had higher premiums and deductibles and today's vote addresses those issues head on. The Senate has delivered to President Trump the first significant legislation of his presidency, a bipartisan $1.1 trillion spending bill to keep the government running through September.